Woohoo! It is working! Awesome. Alright, so I can minimize that. Wow. Two viewers already. <laughs> I hope that's that's Chan and Jenny. Woohoo! It is working! Oh that's me. Awesome. I have to mute myself. Okay. So I wonder if you guys can hear me. Otherwise we would have a similar situation. <laughs> oh that's awesome! Is that Jen's mother? Heike? Sweet. The whole family is is together. Alright, let's get comfy here. Now this is the this is my screen. I have to like do some screen arrangement again. There we go. Like making sure the the chat screen is actually is actually on this phone. There we go. You go here. Nice. Make this very huge. Okay, guys. Now it's time to show you the the very blank screen. <laughs> it's mom. That's awesome. All right. Let's minimize this. Showing this second screen now. Am I? No, not yet. Yay! It should do it. All right. Now to give you a little introdu introduction to to everyone who is like um, lo looking at this afterwards. Um, I had I had the honor to to uh, have some like both screens visible awesome to have some um, like uh, correspondency with an amazing couple that is um, that is living currently in Peru and they they just started a Natusha's organization what's what's that in English like a uh, an organization like very very official um, to uh, to protect nature and this is something that is very like I mean come on it's it's the dream of everyone to do this isn't it and it's it's really something um, that I've a project I've been following for quite a while and actually for for some years and very very recently we yeah we we had the chance to to connect and um yeah within this project there's um next to chan and jen jennifer um a, a very special character uh whose name is keys and uh he's basically um it's a I don't know if I can say parrot, if that's the, the official term, but it's a macaw, like um, a bird, and um, he, is, uh, he is a very, very cute and uh, impressive and amazing being, and I have this wonderful folder here that, that, I, uh, that I want to share with you guys, like so far it's just thumbnails. And um, I want to. I just want to play this little video here, um, where we can where we can see him in action. <laughs> it's just amazing. So, like, the thing is that when I heard this, I was really like um, quite impressed. Um, of uh, can I can I play this on loop or something? 
repeat okay. um, of yeah how creative uh, humanity is when it comes to like um, uh, keeping animals like either in a cage or like making them stay like close to the humans so what they did they um, just they simply cut off uh, the feathers of keys and when I heard this word from was like a very um, disturbing and yet kind of special information because uh, I think that that reflects a lot of uh, uh, of our like very human attitudes and things that we do in many cases um, even with with people that are like very um, um, bird in in their nature hey animus is in here that's awesome yeah new live stream so like even it's, it's sometimes like even even with people like when they want to when to go, want to go out uh, and explore the world and and um, and be free and and do things that are like very um, close to to their own nature we tend to to cut off their wings just because we want we want them to stay in in, in the pattern that we created and and it's very magical to see like to see this symbolized kind of in this in this very uh, like playful creature we see here so now we have a wonderful uh, like like journey that we can uh, uh, partake on here or, or endeavor I should say which is to to illustrate keys and to to find a way how to how to um, express keys on a canvas so he can be like really for uh, so he like we, we basically create an avatar for him for the internet and that's quite exciting so um, hey Christoph nice to have you here yeah we're we are bird nature people exactly and yeah very recently I heard the saying uh, which says like um, uh, like when you're when you're like born a bird and you grow up in a cage like flying will feel like a sickness and I think that was very uh, true for many people that are like of, of like the younger generation that, that are just getting into like their own like creative side and starting like even starting to think by themselves because we have to we have to see that many of our parents uh, or of the older generations they were like forced very hard into structures that did not allow them to question certain things so like our generations or our ancestors if we want to call them like that are now giving us like a wonderful foundation so we can do that so we can really like literally think for ourselves and question things and explore and yeah I, I actually um, I was I was contemplating on on, on on birds and keys and my cars today and I hope, I hope this green is still visible yeah there we go and I figured out it's it's um, it's there's a very nice and simple way to um, to visualize keys somehow it's like actually it's just two spirals like one spiral is is going like counterclockwise and the other spiral is like going clockwise and then maybe some feathers here and actually a third spirals for the feathers maybe an eye I can make this a little bit shorter and that's that's him so now you know how to draw my car all right guys that was a pleasure um, that's that's about it of course not <laughs> but 
it's I think I like these very simple approaches where you like really like think in terms of of something very like symbolic and in this case he would even have like the, the feathers cut off but what I also love is to really go into like naturalism so like <laughs> yeah it's something that is really like um, yeah I mean nature is such a crazy teacher and like there are like billions of directions from from like in which you can go from oh that's me where where am I here um, that's not what I want to do I, think. I want to grab a picture of him I mean look at this this is so cute this is Chan and um, he's like basically the 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 developer brain behind Gaiama and uh, you can you can see how how Keys is very careful um, with his with his weapons and also like what an amazing like anatomy this guy has it's something that is really like it's, I mean, every time I look at nature, it's somehow kind of like, I don't want to say it's a designer there, but like, there there is some type of, oh, this is such a, such a, like, minefield in terms of, like, theology and all these subjects, but there's an extremely playful, like, mind behind certain designs and certain like shapes that is just so like like expressive and, and artistic that it's there's almost no like sometimes no room for like efficiency or something but it's just <laughs> keep on behind <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, if there would be a K-man behind it, like, things would get weird, like... <laughs> we would be like, I don't know, like, walk around in very colorful skin suits, like, constantly experiencing a perpetual orgasm and, uh, uh, and, and like, everything that's fun. So... Yeah, I mean, even when we look at these, like, these eyes here, like, the, it's, it's something where I can clearly see, like, there's a, like, it's always so, um, like, tempting to say intelligence behind it, but it's more of a, like, it's more like, it, there's definitely this trial and error factor we say so often like this the idea of evolution and something is like doing trial and error so often that it actually has a very high percentage or likelihood to turn out a certain way and I would totally accept this like I would totally accept, accept this if like there wouldn't be this thing with math <laughs> like if there like if there would not be such a thing like math or logic i would totally accept this this classical idea of evolution and how things turn out but logic and math make like many things look very stupid or many very like human ideas or romanticized ideas look very f funny kind of yeah Fibonacci everywhere like that's the two two spiral keys that's exactly what, what I'm like what I mean and this is something that is really like like it improved my art in a very weird way because there is no um, there is there is always a like very 
like clear way in which math like allows you to to like the same thing what I was talking about with the with the jobs um, uh, I think two live streams ago that in, in the in the professional world you want to have a predictable outcome and it, it's the exact same thing with how nature is built sometimes where it's so predictable and so accurate also that they're like it throws certain theory theories off just within seconds and art like or the the like like nature or like i would say nature's math definitely like improved my art in in a in a in a very simple way and that is like how i observe things so before that be like before thinking of math and nature i was thinking aesthetically and i was being like just like especially like in this area like where we have these these very like yeah beautiful shapes right here that are that are expanding from there where i was thinking oh that looks nice that's very aesthetic and and like it was something that just allowed me this type of drawing so when i was when i would draw i would think in terms of how does it look good to 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 others or the 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 outside world and i'm not i'm not saying this is the same um approach that this uh, the, the, the nature's design has in mind when it's creating but um, I'm, I'm just saying it's very limited like to think in terms of aesthetics is very uh, limiting as beautiful as it is and the moment you start thinking in terms of math uh, just like many of the ancient cultures did uh, which is very very um, um, like uh, um, plausible like why they did this then you like advance into a different different realm um, where you start actually seeing patterns and rhythms and when when I say math many people uh, speak speak about uh, or think instantly think about um, like numbers or like digits or systems and like dividing multiplying um, like things that are or roots or squares like things that are our interpretation of math but when I speak about math uh, like I am like what I mean with, with math is it's even closer described by music so I speak about like rhythms and cycles and a cyclical understanding of things where you clearly see where things repeat and and where things like like express themselves in a very clearly like defined way and this ha has helped like art and like my art in a very very big way especially when working like with with anatomy and things Hello. and this is something like I really can recommend to anyone who's who's going into like like a deeper uh, who wants to go into a deeper understanding of art or or the idea of of expressing oneself? That's this nice little bump in his beak. Yeah, that that it's like it's not only the way like what you do or what you like in a in a in a certain way, but it's also like what you are capable of observing, and it's it's. Oh, there's some comments here. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's crazy, yeah. Like the fingerprint idea. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that's exactly the thing. That like that's like even within the in, within the order or within the pattern like there's this uniqueness and that's that's almost mean it's like come on nature couldn't you have made it like more perfect you know, it's just like taking it to the most extreme and what you can like 
like it's the the most amazing like zip file compression or like like whatever like medium you're thinking of it's it nature did that in the most perfect way and it's yeah it's it's always amazing to 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 think of this yeah, exactly this variety like having the pattern and still allowing some type of randomness and uniqueness or individuality like it's beautiful yeah so what i what i like to do first before any type of like character design as you're seeing now i just like to explore like what i'm what i'm dealing with like what is the very basic shape like what is the the being what is the uh, of course i'm ex exaggerating a little bit like making the eye bigger and making a, a bit more of like a pictographic image but i love the idea of of really like capturing first and and observing like observing is m so much more important than like just output 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 and yeah it's something that really helped me to to accelerate that certain like certain things or getting closer to a to a desired goal or whatever this is a super nice line that's going on here Yeah, fractals like it's it's definitely something that is that is uh, like a proper way I would say to to describe it. It's something that is mm, like I think it could be used even more in our everyday life almost. Like really embracing the the fractal nature of life. Like it's something that is really even when we speak about like like happiness and and calmness and relaxation and and tasks and and work it's i think if if we would have a more like fractal understanding thing of, of things or cyclical understanding instead of like this is the beginning and this is the end like then i think many things would explain themselves and it would be like the whole internal brain geometry would be much more aligned to actual processes how as as to like how they were meant to function if there's something like this i feel almost sometimes if if we we got so intelligent to a point where we tried our first like our own idea of an operating system within our brain and like realize that there's still kind of much to learn and then like people are sometimes bouncing back to the to the way like how it's supposed to be and then like basically an experimenting with with what operating system is like the best and it's, yeah it's definitely something that, that applies to the kind of to the current society Oh, and I love, of course, to work in black and white first because it's um, or with, with values or, or tones because they like they are like not distracting or they like they kind of 
bring you a little bit closer to, to the essence of things. Only want to sketch that like such a cute situation here. Like every time I like draw something that is out of this, I have no idea like how this looks. It kind of gets into this library, this internal library where I then can access it like later on and then implement it on, on whatever part I want to so if I draw this for example who knows what's like what's left behind there in the brain as a memory oh, look at his eye he's really like he's such beautiful eyes amazing yeah so basically I just love making a big sketch sheet in the beginning and from there I I work myself into like the more caricature style realms. Alright. Now let's give it let's give it another perspective here maybe something that is yeah <laughs> can I put videos in here preparing smart object awesome so I guess if I so let's put this a layer above if I put on the timeline here okay ah, amazing place so is this updating no it's not what if I like move this one over here is this updating then save this maybe yeah awesome okay that works I just learned something new about Photoshop <laughs> um, yeah like the same situation here basically just exploring this mouth is just amazing. Like he's almost like smiling. And then this kind of this like flat part of his head. Oh, it looks like the chat window just. Yeah. Okay, there's definitely some some improvements to be made for my setup, just like the last time. I, I just cannot see the pattern yet, like why the chat window keeps keeps jumping back.
chunk up here. Friendly, almost like an eyebrow part. It's pretty nice, like it can be used to show some like, like express some type of like different like emotions in a certain way. Like it's really nice to, to bring like avatars to life with with like this human it's also kind of what what like Disney and Pixar are doing a lot like really making a translation yes, the yes, Check like the comments once in a while. No way, that's heaven. <laughs> Wait, did I really see that? <laughs> that's amazing. Like it's there's someone like go to Herman, that's a very amazing that did that. Like a very old friend who just like said hello on YouTube. That's awesome. It's funny how, yeah, despite all like social media demonizing, like the internet is definitely a magical tool to, to connect. to Gaiyama because it's something that I really I really enjoy this like this is something I I yeah I feel kind of very like it's just so much fun like to explore exactly this like, what a character is and to to design and to simplify and it is yeah definitely a beautiful task and I've been really like having my my eyes open for a while to look for like more holistic approaches on, on what I can do with like art and animation and character design and like if like I've been I've been working in the industry for like almost 10 years now and I can really like you can really believe me if I say like it's really Hard because we're still like standing on 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 the shoulders of a very like yeah I mean like it's it's nothing new if I say like it's still a very like a, like money based system that 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 is um, um, like still like dominating in a certain way and so all the the jobs and the whole professions are revolving around that and it's yes often like really like special when actually like people have projects that are that are that are beautiful and that are that are out there to 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 be not only like beneficial to to humans <laughs> 
bad to everyone, like literally everyone. kind of putting more more like viewing angles and and poses into like the, the library or well, I keep calling it muscle memory because sometimes when you draw something for for multiple times I mean I drew I drew birds very often but um, yeah, very often was just something like, you know, like doing some random, stupid, like funky kind of um, stuff that is just not really, like, it's more like experimental or cartoony. And I mean, we, we, we will get more cartoony with, with keys, but I'm saying it's, it's beautiful to like extend like the the internal library and to really like fill it with something that that yeah that resonates with the nature and he has this beautiful little like how is it called again like sclera no it's not sclera it's something like part of the eyelid actually like giving it this lemon shape oh. and this shadow like show this Oh, that's not the chip. Oh, I keep like keep forgetting the chip. <laughs> okay, so like, let me just rearrange the the chat window real quick, so I can put this thing back on here. Oh, that noise! Yeah, that's. I can actually like put the microphone a little bit more away from the computer. So, like, what about this? Can you can you still hear me, guys? Because if it's like, let me just switch the scene real quick, and then I can experiment a little bit. Hello. <laughs> um. Okay. Where's this? YouTube window, there we go. Um, whoa, I have 10 people watching. That's a new record, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> um, so just like, just write if it's be better with, with the noise. Am I still the same? Hmm. I mean, I could turn down the volume a little bit of the microphone. That, that might actually help let me just try that maybe like that okay maybe I go like down a little more maybe there are even like like uh, like that like better Fourteen was record just for the record. That's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that 
like I would actually need some kind of like headset or something but I think the fan is yeah it's on that side I mean we can we can actually um, yeah I think this is like the furthest away otherwise I could try to to put in some like how is it called like some effects like some noise gate and stuff but it's it's quite tricky he said yeah I would have to dig in dig deeper into the into the realms of audio engineering here so I better just keep it where it is awesome so let's get let's get back to to keys um, where are you there we go <laughs> yeah I like to I enjoy the comments Um, so like what I would love to do now is really like explore a little more of, of his body like something that is ah that front perspective is amazing too my god there's something beautiful oh like that's a west He's so cute. It's amazing. Like, let's go for that frame. Okay, so new frame. Like it's crazy it's almost like a like a half circle like half a I try to make it like more pictographic like let's let's try something more like let's just get like really experimental here we go yeah that's something I really love about like doing characters too is to explore like their illustrative like potential whoa what was that Uh, 
I wonder if I should approach this with another sword here. To try this actually. Yeah, it might be very interesting. I mean, it will look weird to a certain extent, but at least we we tried it. You know, it's all about exploring. Let's make a new layer so we can just erase this sphere and add. So it's just like two halves of the sphere. And then can we even This sphere is actually that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, it. that's it. like a so it's like a complete sphere. Okay, let me, let me just try something something here. That, that's that's interesting. That's very interesting. Oh, a thunder is coming in the jungle. So yeah, like just to like remind the people or, or, or like like because it's, it's it's a pretty international audience if I can call it like this but Gaiama they're sitting in Peru and they're like watching right now and it's that's pretty exciting because they're exposed to like to this type of surrounding and that is quite um, archaic in its communication so yeah I can totally understand and appreciate if the weather weather is saying no to the internet and now I would okay I have to just like clean my nose for the second otherwise like it's I keep sniffing Cow. Mm. Yummy. Yeah, that's a cacao I can really like recommend. It's like the only cacao. I don't know if you guys can can even see this. Like, let me just show you. Hmm. Does this work? Yeah. Like this cacao nibs from Govinda. And they have like really like a like it's the the only the only cacao nibs that are actually like giving you the same high. Uh, if I can exp just explain it like this, like the the cacao from like the the ceremonial grade cacao, and this is something that I found very very rare, actually. So yeah, it's funny. Okay. Now let's 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 explore the spherical or the circular macaw realm a bit further. So I really like I really try to just like make one circle, one big circle. And with that circle and I just yeah I will play around now. Now I have this circle. And okay, like let's just duplicate that circle so we have it here. Yeah. Now I cut the circle in half like this. Now I have the other circle and I just like, transform it like this. Maybe I can give this one some what would it be like in invert or something? Difference. 
Uh, not really. Subtract. No. Oh. Divide. Yeah, I think it's closer. I actually have to make a gray background. No, that's not, that's not really it. <laughs> okay. Let's go for the... Vision first. Alright, now we have the, the beak. The part of the head. This all the chat window jump back then. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there exactly that's it's good to mention that like wait a second. A second monitor is something that is really Yeah, the yin yang schnabel, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, that's it. That's what I tried to emulate with this. Here we go. With this blending mode, that's pretty cool. Like exclusion. Because it's basically yeah, subtracting the darker colors and adding to the lighter colors, and then we end up with this funky, funky thing here. I don't know if I can actually colorize this because it might change the yeah it changes the color of the circle behind it. But yeah, I can like experiment with it now. Like this is the part that I want to give a mask. And now when I just Yeah. taking like this part and making another here of it. So it's funny how you can really like describe very natural organic shapes with only spheres and I think there's some interesting like correlations with with how nature builds certain things. And it's something So 
this is like yeah this is definitely one way of, of exploring of how to how to think of him in a very like graphic graphical illustrative way like we can definitely like get his eye, the eye a little bit bigger Yes, this extra part up here. Yeah, the funky yellow is definitely going to come in. Definitely, it's you know you want to keep the juicy parts for later. <laughs> it's like yeah, doing the homework first and then diving into that funky colors. But I think I'm I'm already getting closer with with what I want to try here in terms of really making making he's like a very like illustrative giving him like very illustrative shapes and exploring what's possible with this. And we can we can already see like the first kind of results. And I'm just maybe a little bit more organic. Hey, Cyril, that's awesome, mate. It's nice to have you here. Yeah, I was, um, I was like teaching like three animation and even illustration at times. At um, like first in Frankfurt and then like we have a few workshops in in Darmstadt. And yeah, it's it's. I love to to sometimes like see old faces popping up here and there. It's it's something I really really enjoy, especially to see like when people like progress in their like artistic journey. It's beautiful because I don't know. I feel like always art is something like super intimate, and it it shows like where you are in life, kind of. And yeah, it's it's beautiful to have this to keep up this this type of narrative I just I feel like I want to give him some type of eyebrow oh, okay that's just I think I think it's a good point good point in time to to go funky with the colors <laughs> yeah it's nothing I would like, take out for too long but maybe it's juicy blue and right? it's just amazing And I merge all these layers together. And then I, oops, that was not supposed to be like. exciting part I think is because it, it kind of I mean it's definitely sad first of all that like his feathers are cut off but it's also kind of special about him I mean it's something like I would not wish this to to any or like speaking positively I would wish that every bird has like the full like his, his full beautiful feathers grown out to, to be able to fly so and in this case it's something that is really like unique to him and to to his story. Can I just saturate this stuff? 
Einstein say again about this like the highest form of research is play or something? I don't remember. And I love actually I love working with like clean shapes, like something Hey Cyril, thanks mate. I I really I'm very happy to hear that you, you resonate with that stuff. It's always I feel like it's always quite tough to 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 really like find an audience or to like find this dark because I mean every human is a puzzle piece. That's that's a fact and every like like every puzzle piece has its like docking station and and the only like weird thing about us is that we can actually like transform these docking stations to go from like more popular subjects to subjects that are not so often like spoken of and um but these subjects, ah, oh, they're so much fun and they're like so exciting. Like, it's, yeah, it's sad to, 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 to just leave them out there and like, like to just, to just not talk about this, this, this magic that is often happening behind the curtain. Like, yeah. I love all that behind the curtain stuff, like I'm a big fan of it. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, that's also I think what many of the, um, like that might actually be a, an explanation or a, maybe a translation of, of some more of the ancient, um, I don't know if, if I could call them philosophers or researchers, like I think very often what they were saying was just as simple as like we love the behind the curtain stuff like we are fans of it and yeah because a lot of our culture is based on what we see and, and what we can touch and this is pretty much like I think art uh, super like ironically art is exactly the opposite it is like like although you're working with something you can see you're totally penetrating a realm that is like like just like a blank canvas like there's just like nothing and you you're there with with uh, like creativity like I like just recently I had this wonderful talk with Chan and, and Jenny like about like when you when there's no more time and there's no more like of these segments of like this is where it starts and this is where it ends like you like the only thing you, you're ending up with is just like creation 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 you would just like be in a realm of creation like there's no like 
really like strategy or complaining or, or like ah like yesterday was not so like or, or what am I going to do tomorrow it's just like you just put it out and see that like it is like just see that it works and then it's just like um, yeah it's something you don't really like think about like rationally but you just you just put it out and that's what I what I totally love about like art or like drawing so like what is this guy saying where do I want to go here? This is like, this is a dangerous line. It makes him look like <coughs> <laughs> careful, guys. I'm <laughs> keys. It's it's something like that I that I did to this butterfly last last time, and this is more like a should be clearly visible that. And this is not for me personally. It's not like really like pictographic enough. So let's try. I will try to simplify these lines. <laughs> there we go. And then we still have this kind of eyebrowish shape here it's kind of cool and still I love that I love that circle here like this this circle is what I was really like aiming for when I did the the like the very beginning sketch If it's fun, yeah, at least it's like something you're you're doing right. I think. <laughs> so, Murphy, like, is that the name of the storm, or? <laughs> Murphy, don't you put off the internet again? Behave, behave, Murphy. Okay. Like, guys, we should send some positive affirmations to to Gaiama so they so the the internet gods will just like provide them with the oh Murphy's law yeah <laughs> the the internet gods will provide them with the proper connection yeah it's it is quite quite an event I mean I'm so excited to just like explore this because as I said it's it's very rare that you have the a chance to yeah to, to dig into product projects that are actually like sustainable and this is something massive like it's really like if you haven't checked out their site it's something that is really like is there's some very valuable information like it's Gaia, um, uh, don't org. and when I speak about like information I mean like it's not something in terms of like what you can read but if you look at it like as a whole like what they're representing what they're doing it is real like pioneering work like because they're like what they're about to like create is really massive because it's not in a in a certain like 
genre or range or a community like we know like that that exists already but it's something that really comes from a like sustainable standpoint and that's that's often why it's so hard to like connect to people because when you really want people like that are like self-sustainable actually then like from what way do you approach them because they are self-sustainable so when self-sustainable people come together it's always something very um, unique that's happening and that's definitely what i feel for their for their project too and that's why i'm like yeah i really like can can recommend to to explore this project further to anyone who is yet uh, unaware of the magic that's happening some nice reflections here. Alright. Now this is a good time to to bring in the the other video like I want to ex oh this is amazing like look at this guys <laughs> this is so awesome so oh what just happened just closed it like ah let's just pull that right in like this is jen and she's oh she's the artistic mind behind gaia ma and like i just keep morphing this picture right, here we go and this is a beautiful <laughs> example of a possible bird-human interaction. All right, now let's 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 give keys a bit more room to play here. Then we can. can see where we like, just make some place for the keys. I'm sorry, Gaiama. Make some room for him. Oops. Still have the circle selected. There we go. All right. Now that is so amazing. Now, it's not, actually it's not that visible in this picture, but you have this, like, like his feathers are really like, um, I wonder if you guys can send, ah, no, that's what I, that's what I should do, like, let me just make, maybe Chan, Chan, I will make you a, a moderator, maybe you can, like, um, post a, a link of like like there's like th there's really this part where the feathers are like completely cut off i think it's already here but you can you cannot really see it because it's like yeah it's not going any further but it's crazy it's really like a clean cut where it just like yeah it looks like someone would just go like with a scissor and just cut the feathers off <laughs> which is insane i mean yeah but Um, let's just uh, make this his, his superpower. Right? Transmute that. Uh, that's the curve I was looking for. Much better. Uh, 
guess they're quite, quite sharp. It would be nice if you could just like say hi, and then you would just see this. I need to make this a separate layer. Because I just say hi with his wing. And at the same time, presenting the presenting the feathers that are like cut off. In that hand. I would love to like, explore that one too, like, to give him oops, a little bit of a like, transform or to the body yeah yeah if, if you guys want you can totally like post a picture in the in the chat I don't know how like where you have something uploaded but it's it's it might be super interesting for the for the the actual like anatomical perspective Inside is actually yellow, right? This is this is quite a big detail. How do I? There we go. And then when there is like another layer of feathers. Love to make a super illustrative and show that they're also like cut off.
eyes is actually a little bit more grayish than this blue here. Okay. Well, I think I'm, I'm disappearing in the dive again. <laughs> yeah, I can turn on the light. Ah, that didn't do much. <laughs> Agua. Mm. So, speaking about math and art, that uh, like puts us to a like super interesting subject. Ah, okay. Like where where these things are kind of like combined and this is and this is like the the realm of magic. And oh yeah, wow, okay. Here you can see some like clear Clear cuts. I don't know if this is like possible to see here. There we go. This is some serious stuff right there. I don't know if I can. Oh, it's impossible to zoom. Yeah, let's <laughs> land that picture. Oh, yes, here we go. This is it. Yeah, there you can clearly see like these, these inner parts are just gone. Wow, that's crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, I think the the realm of, of magic that is that is very often kind of mystified really like sums many things up and just by yeah by looking at the word it is something that is super obvious like in a certain way what is what is happening when when we see how much our how much our brain is like put into the into the realm of like uh, superstition if this is the the term where we like we've been we con we, we kind of conditioned ourselves to be more superstitious in in many many aspects of life instead of really like having a uh, like a sober point of view on life and this is actually what what many of the ancient cultures were doing they were like clearly looking at life in a very like uh, what was this term the other day like clear-headed way because often we refer to them as being like like tripping on the gods and being very like um, esoteric about things but actually when we look at what magic like meant to them it's amazing to to see that they also had a clear understanding of like patterns and cycles and like even the word like we can make a little like round trip on, on wikipedia that would be awesome we can like when you type in like like mm, mag magie, like it's, it's the, the German term, as in terms of like a, a, a medium. There we go. That's it. It's like a. I don't know if it was like written in the English. Ah, it Yeah, it was that article, like where they write, like, 
like the 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 linguistic base is like an is, is like the, the has the indo-germanic root of mak and that means like to have the ability or or the capacity of like doing something or words like vermögen like they also have the mök or mak in them or mok or like the the persian like Mook is, is, is like written here and it's this is super interesting because or macht and machine I mean come on that's so like obvious and also like it's funny because when you look at the like how is this like um, uh, language tree there we go like this is something like Come on, please, no, no video. Here we go. Gotcha. Like, this is something that is really, like, I mean, this is such a little, like, little branch. Here you can clearly see how we, like, or, or we with a, with a very, like, um, uh, uh, often academic mindset, we, we, we can clearly see how we avoid <laughs> We avoid like the all the uh, etymological roots um, because they don't fit into our framework of teaching. So we stop at the Indo-European road, uh, which is a uh, root, which is actually like actually it's 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 weird this tree because like when we look at like when when there's a Greek which is here like. Greek is here and it's super small it's like the Hellenic root and it is so ironic because Greek like in our history I don't, I don't want to make this big leap but Greek in our history is so much more important than than it is taught in schools because Greek is is Greek is making this exact link it's making the link to the to the African like like root or the, the the ancient Egyptian or Kemetic or however you want to call it, and the Persian realm, and it's something like even like like um, like when you like I just I just was on this like like you have this like these kings like these these ancient Greek. Magicians. Yeah, like that's that's for example when you look at the word like like magnet we had this like with a it's the same it's the same word root basically but of course uh, Wikipedia is doing a great job of kind of keeping you unaware of like massive connections that are here like when you here there we go it's ancient oh what a coincidence it's also like it has a Greek word root um, like Magnesian which is actually kind of a place in Greek here we go it's like a it's like a um, like a physical place you know, it's like the, the, the Magnesia is like a, it's a region. And like, when you look, when you try to find out like, okay, wh where do they have their name from? Where do they have their, their um, term from? And um, then you see that actually the, the word like, um, um, Magia is like a, like a Persian, like has a Persian root. And then when you look at the the Persian like like um, uh, distribution of the the ancient, I mean they don't have an ancient card here. Like let's look at Persia. This is super interesting, really. I'm sorry for making this big leap, but <laughs> oh, two new pictures in the yeah, perfect. Let's just Persia. Um, there we go and look at this what a coincidence that like 
the Persian Empire is just like just hitting this part where the region is where you have the this massive like etymological root of Mac from yeah or, or like which means like power or attraction or like magnetism uh, Macht mögen this is like this is like big stuff and um, and and like and yet what we see on our like traditional like I would say like school book teaching is that Greek is just this little Hellenic root which is even European or Europe the idea of it is like a Greek it's named after a Greek goddess so we have to see that like this tree has as its root an, a Greek term so there's something more there and this is like very very magical when you put things into a logical perspective instead of a like like a, a superstitious one as it as it's being taught in school and this brings you also to to like the idea of like matter and ma'at which which used to be like the the more like greek uh, the, the egyptian goddess for for basically saying okay this is math this is order this is um let me just go into the ftp here real quick and Get a sweet picture of keys. Keys. Oh, okay, that's gonna be kind of a. I actually have to like re. Keys. That's a, there we go. So is it in what? Ah, here we go. Sweet. So it's these guys, right? Awesome. Is it that one? Was it that one or was it in there already? Oh, I see it. My gosh. This is some serious business. Look at this, guys. This is some crazy stuff. Like re engineering nature the bad way. Yeah. So there's definitely this this edge coming out here. Cut off. Yeah, so speaking about magic, we often use terms that are that are literally like referring to like the fabric of which our like reality is built and this is often something that people are like yeah often too busy in their in their everyday everyday life like 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 perpetuating 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 doing 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 without noticing these very big messages that are just placed there like literally like in front of us we just can't we can look and we can see and it's so obvious how how powerful actually the 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 ancient teachings are and and i guess they're like good for something they're they're like like i mean our knowledge is based on that so it's really something that is um it's important to consider and many people they they yeah they like render themselves powerless by not just like paying attention to these simple um, 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 yeah it's so tempting to say like coincidences and that's where the, like you just give away your power because it's like it is incidents like there's just like incidences and the, these incidences tell you like of how deeply connected a actually the the history is with each other. I mean, of course, it's it sounds simple. Yeah, history is like connected, like uh, like countries are connected with each other, of course. But to really like embrace it and look at it in in this way, where like there was no like there was not the idea of a Germany, for example, before or a Peru or or uh, America or in Africa but before that there was like really like the, the 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 roots of certain cultures that embraced the the re reality they're living in on a total different realm and this is something that 
can can give you like back power on a very very personal level like within within your life that I would also have never like I never thought of like would, would be possible and and yet it is it's it's really magical it is magical to to use to make use of that and to make use of knowledge and to make use of like the internet and and to to like see history as a tool to 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 get closer to a, to a certain type of thinking as our like ancestors would would do and yeah I'm not sure about this dark neck part yet still something that's kind of need to be figured out this is such a nice like clean shape he has and now what I would love to do from here is actually like combining the Messages coming in. I'm sorry, I cannot read them because like, <laughs> I have the second screen on here. But oh, oh, I see the screen it doesn't even work. Okay. Like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's it. The, like languages are logical like this is exactly the thing and this is where where um, like I keep saying this I also said this like in this in this wonderful talk like I, I had with Chan and Jen that many many cultures that we we describe as like having animism or this like this um, natural like embracing natural spirits and stuff like these cultures, oh, I have to put back that window, they describe us as illogical. And I was often wondering, like, whoa, why are jungle tribes describing us in this, like, modern society as illogical or irrational, you know? And then, of course, it, like, uh, like it dawned on me very quickly that there's a, like, they understand about a certain connection they have with their surrounding and this is, <laughs> this is this it's so simple it's it's a connection that we in many cases like severed and they're looking at us uh, as like so they're not realizing that they're in this and that they also have to take care of this while being inside of this like the most simple realization you would have right and and this is logic this is the crazy part of it that we have like academia and math and like our math and all these these like things that are like sounding very nice for the western ego but actually it's based on on separation instead of a type of uh, um, uh, inclusion and this is very scary when you see like this is also things we are doing uh, in our private lives like sometimes when when we make a mistake um, that we build our ego around this mistake and make it very look very in, uh, intelligent and complex instead of like saying okay you know guys I just I failed uh, like I'm sorry and at least I personally like wis witnessed the be becoming strategic after I made a mistake instead of just being like okay I, I fucked it up and this is something like we are doing in the West like in a big scale like in a really big time and this is also why we don't see like like right here why why like see this gray parts is like why we don't touch these gray parts why we we stick to the indo-european realm and this is like 
oh guys don't go to this part like this is it's going to blow up all our teachings because we're going to get to the root root and then to the root 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 and this is where we go back to this fractal type or cyclic type of understanding where we are not really there yet we're still in this in this um, idea of making spectrums uh, and and setting a start and, and an end and and it's it's amazing to yeah to observe this and this is even like with with things like uh, I would love to like visualize this also artist artistically when we when we talk about Fibonacci spirals or or like mathematics and stuff it's like the heart is also like the symbol that we know that it's supposed to like represent love and then we draw this like red and like it's the it's in the center of our chest and it's so beautiful like this is actually also like a very cut down version of a fractal and it's it's also like like the heart is often s associated with like venus and something and I, I'm, I'm going to come back to the horses no worries <laughs> and and this is something like when we look at the heart and we think of venus and like how Venus is actually describing like a pentagram you know when being in a in line with Earth like when you look at it from a like a very simple like astrological standpoint and then you see that it's also describing like uh, the spiral or that what we know as like the the phi spiral and the crazy thing is that when you take literally like, take two spirals oops the window popped back again when you take two spirals like this and another spiral that is like intersecting the spiral like this oh, sorry I just messed this up I show you show it to you with this heart it is actually there it makes more sense and when we progress like outside from here like this and on the other side too like this and from here back again like this and like this and then you see like it's actually like let me mark this in a very terrible color like this here yeah? what you see then is that you have a spiral that's going out like that's going in and one that's going out like two spirals that are like crossing each other like describing a polarity and describing an actual fractal you know it's a fractal and we like as we love it as humans we took part of that fractal and made a symbol uh, like out of we said okay wait here this fractal stops and like there it begins and this is something like w which we did with every part of life we said okay like this is where history begins 2000 years ago or okay you can only pray to this figure uh, whether it's Jesus or whatever like that lived 2000 years ago before that like don't care about this don't care about the ancestors and everything that comes before like this is the narrative that many people agreed uh, upon and this is very scary when you look at what the consequences were of saying this is where it starts and um, yeah we did this in many areas of, of life I'd say and it takes it's quite a challenge to to bring back the the like holistic understanding um, that that we were that we were once in and that is I mean it's coming back definitely but it doesn't just because it's coming back collectively it does not uh, like <laughs> exclude you from the very personal challenge of going through this awakening because many people are like uh, like oh nice and we have this collective awakening and everyone's waking up and it's great I mean it is great but what does that mean for you personally that's quite that's quite tough actually that's quite a challenge at, at least for me like when I think about awakening and all this stuff it's pretty hard it's pretty like I mean you have like really like belief systems crushed you know like 
relationships that we know like that we we thought were relationships crushed and then like really suddenly living through relationships and being like whoa this is what i've been missing out on all the time and this is really like transformative and when everyone's suddenly waking up it's kind of also like forcing you to wake up you know and it's actually not so comfortable because it, there's like this slight feeling of pressure in, involved i would say and yeah so it's 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 a beautiful beautiful subject to to dance around with your mind okay now horses um wow horses are quite a challenge <laughs> like oh my god the, the window just popped out again how long am i streaming actually wait a second Can I? Awesome! Wow, there are many like many new comments, and I have to re recalibrate this window again. Sorry. Right back there. Here we go. That sounded good. And before I read the comments, put this back. Ah. Okay. Oh no, the storm is coming closer. Okay. Now I will like I will just make this horse thing very short because I I I'd love to give keys a little surrounding to kind of complete this complete this uh, one wonderful task. Um, that, that I've been given um, so <laughs> actually I have no idea I would just totally improvise how to draw I, I know how to do, draw a dog with one line that's pretty cool you just like do this and this and maybe this and this and this and this and then this and then you have a Kind of a lazy dog, but a horse. Hmm. A horse is like it's a bit like two circles, right? Kind of like this, and then you have this jawline coming out, and you have the nostrils, and the lip part and the chin, the eyes, and I think the ears are sticking out pretty much like this. And that's it. That's a full blown realistic horse. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I just I know. Okay, there's definitely some room for yeah to, to make some anatomical corrections, but that should like cover definitely cover what I what I'm capable of teaching in terms of horse anatomy. I hope that helped a little bit. All right, now, like, I, I, I definitely have to give Keith, like, uh, I keep saying Keith, like Keith, another layer here. Like, I love his name because Keith actually, like, the Ger like, in, in German, Keith means like 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 type of a type of stone a type of rock actually that has been like shaped like um, by water I guess and it's actually very beautiful yeah it's <laughs> yay you saw the horse I'm glad you saw it <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm always a little bit um, like it's always like I'm, ah I, I wish I had more time like to to go into the like the, the fractal nature of the comments you know they are opening doors and you're like ah I want to explore this yeah now let's keep, let's give keys a nice background um for that I. Probably have 
move to turn seven. Invert that. Make this actually white. And then I, we can also play with the light a little bit. There we go. And then there is this trick of removing, actually removing the white. Create. Was it? No, 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 no. It wasn't. Cardboard. Merge, basically. No. I don't remember it. So it's too special. Yeah, but we can actually another pick. Wait, what? Is that I should update that. Oh, oh, something like how can I actually like see which pictures are are like. Just copy them all over. Um, skip. E e like, use this to current. Okay. Now there should be some more magic in here. Oh, this is the one I'm seeing it already. I, I guess that's the one. Dang. Ouch. So, to anyone who's very sensitive with. Uh, I'm coming way too much with this disclaimer now, but look at this madness that's happening here. I mean, in some way it's extremely beautiful, but it's also like you can see the, the violence involved. How can I zoom? Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely yeah, it is sad and fascinating at the same time because it just looks clearly shows like this it's just amazing wow wow that is amazing yeah mm, I'm sorry <laughs> I just needed another cacao load. Like I don't have my like I think everyone has his like drug kind of and as I'm not um like um I mean I love like the the idea of weed and smoking and have nothing like against Mariana but it's kind of not my 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 thing I don't know I don't feel we're really like like I could do it like on a on, on, on a regular basis as some people are doing it and after some years of like not like not touching any like substance I noticed that wow cacao is actually I think it's my my cacao is my cigarette <laughs> or or my my sugar in a sense I mean I'm not eating it every day but it's something I really like I, I consider very potent um, isn't it even considered like almost like an antidepressant or something and it's I could like I could totally understand how it's it could be used for that I mean you you would have to you would need to be like at least a little bit like healthy I would say like if you if you're used to very hard substances like sugar for example <laughs> it's actually quite a potent substance too but then you might not like feel so much or even it would maybe taste bitter for you like in its raw state but like wow Cacao is amazing. Cacao is definitely something that is still 
pretty underestimated in its in its raw power. Yeah. So in in case not everyone is following the chat, it's it's around two years till the the feathers come back. If and and yeah, it would be so amazing if the like, keys could fly after that when they're returning and we have some like real like complete rehabilitation and re like naturalization I, I wouldn't even know the term like to to, to to come back into its original state it would be it would be beautiful That's amazing. I didn't even know that on here. Okay, that's enough. Thank you, Microsoft. What a, what a kind way of allowing me to explore this beautiful software. some type of glow over the gosh. Oops. There we go. So and this is just to just to mention that's of course just the beginning stages of the of this character design because I think like he will go go through some some more like iterations of like poses and like like postures that are that are suitable for for becoming hopefully becoming the 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 proper mascot for Gaiama and yeah it's really like an honor to to partake in that that endeavor Yeah, the light is always kind of a experimentation process as there's no like real like guideline or something to follow. So I think when it comes to light it's always feels like you have you have to work a bit like a photographer or something. That's the first thing that comes into my mind when, when I think of digital art and characters and posing characters and stuff. It's like something that is actually hard to to grasp immediately.
and very important. And the feathers are like this thin layer of feathers coming out. sunlight hitting from behind and then maybe some like sky refractions as beak there we go Getting a little bit closer Yeah, it's, it's the, the left-handed Photoshop setup. <laughs> I kind of like, it's, it keeps changing. Like, it's like a constantly, like, shifting living room, kind of, like, where, where I keep moving around, like, furniture and just to make it more spacious. <laughs> Although I, like, keep using the same tools and I think yeah if I move it there there will be like physically more space when there's actually not like just as if you would move your bed in the room and there's just like nothing really changes it's just somewhere else and this is yeah how I keep uh, actually I can close this timeline right here it was just a just a test for the video yeah but I think it's funny how, yeah, how you can trick your own mind into believing that you really changed something <laughs> but actually nothing really happened Awesome. Wow, everything's vibrating. <laughs> and that's I would even love to make them even simpler like these lines. There's like three stripes here, three stripes down there. to make things really like pictographic I 
frame is like a second frame actually. It's like he's standing on just one moment. Nice to actually like add some like the idea of some, some jungle like plants. I actually like that. And that's exactly the that's exactly the challenge here like to see how far can you push it to to like like make it like a m memorizable entity and not lose any of the actual being you know that it's a realistic that it's a real living Macaw, and this is something I like. I find often like as the, the biggest challenge to to combine these these realms. And yet, I, st I think there's still some like exploration possible. And there's so many like beautiful like poses and things where you can like experiment and join and combine. So this is really, I think, just one facet or one possible like I say exploration one possible direction Yeah, I can make this a little bit more of a straight line. 
it gets a little bit more let's circle back also here this is what I mean of like keeping this symbology kind of keeping this circle to something here it's just like is he actually when he's walking on the ground is his feathers probably touching the ground right like the, the back feather I think that's kind of that would be kind of a cute detail if, if it would be the case that that he's actually like pulling it behind him <laughs> it's kind of sweet Because it looks like that you could you could choose to like push it up and down. Yeah, <laughs> he will be he will be kind of confused. <laughs> I know this guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's good to know. And I should definitely make this kind of a higher higher perspective here. Because what I'm saying now is that the tail is actually closer than the body, which is not making any sense. So I could should kind of stick to the stick to the rules in a certain sense. Thanks, mate. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah, I think we just like we're about to to wrap this up. It's already like e to what? It's like eight thirteen here. So I really like every time I do this, I completely lose lose track of time. So. Yeah, it's very enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, I like that actually. It was not a complaint. Is yeah, the real tail is like super long. So let's actually let's let's go for it. I mean, honestly, like there's no like there's no reason why not to like. You know, give him his actual like space in a sense. And even like what I love about some designs is when you have like you have a character on the side and actually his tail like doesn't even fit in, it just like always keeps like sticking out somewhere or like like you know not even fitting in the format and I love these details that's actually like what it's about because then it's an actual yeah then it's an actual character this is like his, his personal features that are then being honored in a sense
think it's even longer actually, probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah, where, where was that again? I saw that video. <laughs> it was so cute. Like, there's this beautiful, like, was it that one? Is it that one? Oh, come on. Please. I'm not showing anything. Maybe it has to do with a driver or something. I don't know if it's the video, but there's this beautiful video where he's like meeting this other guy and they're just. Is that, no, it's the crazy landscapes. Oh my god, these are beautiful. And you look at them. Like, yeah, I think that's the video, but somehow it just won't. Maybe I should try a different player or something. Like, what, is, what else is there? Move the windows. Oh no, I'm not going into that whole setup game here. Oh, that one looks good. Can I run the fire? Pulling it into Photoshop. What? Are you kidding me? So what is papaya avocado actually? Is that? Oh yeah, that's the... okay. I'm just overriding it. And then we'll see if it does. Ah yeah, it was, it was in the Insta story, right? I was... I'm re uh, really wondering why I saw this. No, no chance. It's not doing anything. Yeah, it's like it's super cute, but in general, as I said, I just totally have to like, yeah, get the get this friend over to actually like a bright background might actually be nice. Like, like this is the the last the, the last thing I will try. Like, totally want to totally want to try that to actually. If keys like a nice bright like layer to to get his shape of like where is the overlay here? Maybe make it shine overlay brush. There we go. And that's it. Okay now make it transparent and yeah, use it and I'll give it color
this. So many options. Okay. Now, yeah, that should be the first step for for the for the keys mascot history. The first draft, like created live. Actually, that's crazy. That's. I really enjoy this this process of just elaborating what this character is. Okay, enough now. And yeah, that's what I do. I should totally write down the, the link here. Because this is what it is all about. Make some sweet spiral stuff. is some like did I even yeah in case I write something wrong just please tell me <laughs> yeah because this is some like there's like amazing things happening and it's something I really think it's 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 important to like yeah bring exposure to to things that matter as, as simple as it sounds and this is definitely something that is not only like important in terms of like health and looking nice and nature but also in terms of like where are like like how are our own like children or the next generation like how, how are they going to live and how are we going to sustain or like like create like the 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 the, the type of living and this is like where where these these two beautiful individuals are working on and this is like very exciting and yeah i i i hope you you enjoyed this this um beautiful calm um uh mecca and um and i hope you also could enjoy what i what i did with him <laughs> And this this live painting session, I, I personally enjoyed it very much, and I'm very happy that that we broke this new record of viewers. <laughs> That's a very uh, beautiful um, uh, um, little success you can celebrate. And yeah. Uh, have a have a wonderful evening everyone thanks for joining thanks for participating and listening and hopefully i i will see you i will see you next time let's make this let's make this thing big so we have a nice finishing presentation oops oh my god there we go guys i'm in love <laughs>
Thanks for being there. Thanks for existing. <laughs> so, uh, is this is this me on the screen now? Yeah. Awesome guys. So, I will enjoy the rest of the evening with this beautiful cow that's left over. Yeah, guys. There's more to come, definitely. Also, like, keep an eye on the on the on the next live streams, of course. Um, I'm I somehow have the feeling that keys might be appear more often here and there when I'm drawing. So thanks for being there, guys. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs> bye bye.